Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. Get yourself a cup of tea. It's one of those years. Mm. So this is the start of 2021 and I just want to say it's been a difficult year. I'm not just talking about, you know, the last what five days, though that has been... Um, uh, <laughs> it's been a tough year anyway for everyone from the start of this whole um, pandemic and I just want to say you're all doing brilliantly whoever you are wherever you are whatever you are doing is fantastic because who knows how we're supposed to deal with this constant madness um, and obviously a particular just love thanks admiration and well more than thanks goes out to you know all the key workers and uh, staff and people just doing an unimaginably amazing job in this day and age but that's not what this channel is about this channel is about marini things and i wanted a bit more of a sit down video today um I don't know, just to have a bit more of a chit chat because <laughs> I don't quite have the energy at the moment for massive editing. Um, so this is going to be as uncut as possible. It's going to be a chat and we're going to be discussing, you know, what marine creatures you want to see in 2021. And, and I'm going to take another sip of tea again, unedited, but um, hot beverages constantly is, uh, is how I'm dealing. <laughs> tea so one of the things that comes about in a pandemic is um obviously people have to stay local and that can mean that if you're not locally near a beach you can be cut off from it and um that can be quite daunting i know in the general scheme of the pandemic probably not the worst thing but the ocean and the people are connected to it bring such a positive joy to people's lives that when you are cut off from it and for an extended period of time it can you know that can have uh, an impact especially on things like mental health and i just wanted to i suppose put a bit of positivity out there a bit of hope um in my very small slither of a way i'm going to still try to as i've done for the last like two and a half years um put weekly videos up so in that sense i am trying to continue to keep people connected to the ocean and I know watching it through your screens isn't always ideal and it's not you know as great as being there but it certainly is um, a way to connect but um but I also wanted to share some positivity in the sense that I spent 2020 as many people did um away from the beach more than I ever have in my entire life but I would say that the marine life I saw when I could go to the beach safely in 2020 were was probably one of the best if not the best year for seeing marine life I don't know if that I don't think I've thought about it I don't know you'd think that maybe it's come from a greater appreciation and I definitely had that that is one of the benefits of I didn't think I could fall more in love with the ocean and being away from it you know absence makes the heart grow fonder <laughs> and um it was just so much more wonderful to be at this beach when you could be there. Um, but uh, but it, I don't think it was that. I just think that the ocean is full of surprises and when you least expect things to happen, you find the greatest things. And so in a year that I missed what I deemed was the majority of, you know, the lead up to the start of rock pooling season, months of rock pooling that I missed out on, I found more in the trips that I could when I got there and those memories, those, those memories are really, really important. But those memories are going to stick with me and I just want to put out there that, okay, you might not be able to get there at the moment, but there are going to be some fantastic opportunities when it's safe to do so for you to get to the beach and we shouldn't be aiming for like mediocre beach trips we should be aiming now to find the best creatures because you can in a sing 
anything has shown me this year, a single rock pond trip can lead to not just one of your favourite species, but multiple of your favourite species, or just a simple wander down the beach like what my parents did can lead to finding amazing creatures like an octopus. So every year, or I suppose the last couple of years, I've tried to tick off a group of species on my list. And I basically did all of them this year in the very short amount of time that we could go to the beach relative to normal. And those were, um, so we found in one trip, I managed to film a two types of squat lobsters, which I was so excited about, including a really colourful species, um, spiny squat lobster, maybe? And a devil crab, which I adore, and I could just stare at the pictures I took of that crab all day. It was amazing. And that was in one singular rock pooling trip. I didn't film it, but I think, I'm, well, I'm sure, I know I did, see for a glimpse a tiny baby wild lumpfish. And the, oh, what else did I see? Um, I saw a sea stickleback, which I didn't ever expect to see. That just popped up. It wasn't even on my radar. It wasn't on a list. That was just something amazing and new. A stalked jellyfish. Like, I want, oh, that was on my list. I found one of them. That was amazing different types of pipe fish, the greater pipe fish, the worm pipe fish. Oh, just, just so much. Look, flatworms had a great year. No, that sun doesn't throw it more exciting, but oh my goodness, did I show that they were cute? Oh, sorry, the camera angle might have changed. I was just editing the video and I realised I didn't talk about this, so I had to get out of my nice, snuggly warm bed and come back and just add in the fact that I didn't mention that I found an octopus this year. After years and years of searching, I found an octopus. It was amazing. If you've not seen that video, go watch it because I explained the whole story. It was just, it was like all of this, me telling you that you can find ocean right on your doorstep. And I almost literally did find it so close to my, uh, like so close to home. I'd been looking for years in all these different amazing marini places. And I managed to just find it on my local beach back home where you would never ever think it should be. So, um, <laughs> It was just a beautiful moment, so go check out that video if you want to see some awesome octopus footage. Oh my god, I'm in love. I'm still in love. And it was amazing. And so I wanted to say what I want to find for 2021. But I want to use this, and again this year, with um, lockdown, you know, social media and YouTube channels, for me anyway, have become really important in the in community and just feeling connected so i wanted to use this as an opportunity to kind of for you to share with me where what your list is so i'm going to share my list i want you to share your list and in the comments below if you've been rock pooling if you've been in the sea and you found the species that other people want to find you know maybe put where you found them and i'm this is in no means encouraging travel this is all just kind of when we can do it safely and when it is possible to do it safely if you want to find a species then maybe let's connect with some people that know where they are or have found them before and discuss and maybe you can meet someone that has the same favorite species as you um and i just kind of wanted to start 2021 off on that foot on a foot of hope and and excitement for the amazing marine creatures that we will have chance to find at some point safely this year and um, that is what I want my winter months to look forward to, to look forward to when it's safer, to when we can go and find some more incredible creatures. Um, so my list, I'm gonna start with a curveball. I, as you can tell, love, can you see leggings or barnacles? No, so invertebrates, I'm an invert person, but I'm gonna start off with something that is the opposite of an invertebrate um and i've never seen a wild otter and i would love to see a wild otter i mean she's so cute have you seen finding dory oh my goodness <laughs> so um yes they're also ferocious predators i love it when that happens so <laughs> i would love to see uh, a wild otter so that is on my list i'd love to film and to see properly a wild lumpfish, um, wouldn't that be special? Wouldn't that be amazing? So that is on my list. I also want, which is bizarre, when I found myself writing this list, I, you know, when you mental check in with yourself and you're like, hmm? 
Uh, I'd like to find some squid eggs or some cuttlefish eggs or some octopus eggs. I've seen, which is bizarre, right? Because you would normally think, why would you not just want to see a cuttlefish or a squid? I'd love to see them too. I've seen little cuttlefish in person, in person, in, in wild and in person, I suppose. I have, I think I might have seen squid. I don't, I've seen caught squid. I don't think I've seen squid like in the water in the wild. Um, and I'd love to see them too. Totally looking out for them all the time. But for some reason on my list, I'd love to find the eggs of them. I've never seen um, cephalopod eggs, so I'd love to. Um, I would love, and this one is a bit, that this is a bit high on my list. This is, this is, this is probably like an octopus. It's going to take a few years. Um, I'd love to see a wild seahorse, which, um, I mean, you get in the Thames and I come from a small island near the Thames and I don't think you'd find them around my island, but you know, it's not out of the question to find that, you know, it's close enough to home there that, uh, I'd love to be able to get the chance to go and see a wild seahorse. That would be absolutely, absolutely incredible. That would be amazing. Um, what else is on my list? A sea cucumber. I've never seen a sea cucumber. That would be amazing. Love to find one of them. On the list, please. I'm trying to think. That might be off the top of well not quite off the top of my head off the top of my head remembering a list that i wrote earlier today my go to oh no it's not tell a lie well this one's been on my list this is the only species i didn't see on my uh list beforehand that i had i want to see a goose barnacle which are absolutely amazing and i love them um but i've never seen them and there are species of barnacle that spend their lives afloat in the oceans you often find them on the south coast just because they've been washed up from the storms down in the mid where they're kind of a bit more common um but they're not re they don't really grow attached to anything so it's not like a normal barnacle where someone goes oh there's a barnacle you could probably go there two years later and spot the same barnacle again um so i really really want to see one of them but that is really just that's the ocean luck that is if the ocean wants to bring me a log full of goose barnacles then i am welcome to it um uh people say you know that um that putting things out on the universe makes it happen uh, I, I i don't know i'm hoping so that's what i'm hoping i speak about it enough and i spoke about octopuses enough and I believe that that was a very weird twist of fate. So it was like just one of those occasions that was just couldn't believe it happened. So I'm hoping that by sharing this with you guys and shouting out to the world that when we do have a chance to go down the beach again, that, um, that yeah, that we find them. And of course, as always, nudibranchs are on my uh, list of things to find, sea slugs. Um, I found a few species. And there are a few videos, a few exciting videos coming up um, soon about them. But I would just love to add to my repertoire of um, of finding them. Oh, soft coral. I found that this, this one of the greatest, what greatest things about lockdown the, the first time was lots of marine lectures came online. And I was listening to one on um, things you can find down in Cornwall and Devon. And you can find soft corals. So adding that to the list. Again, this seat, this video is just one of those very casual sit down chit chatty videos. Um, let me know if you like this style. I'll do more. Hopefully they're easy to edit. I just have to listen to myself talk a lot more. Though I do that anyway, so. Um, yes, I have. So you will see. Um, please subscribe if you like this video or just want to see marini content i have a lot of marini based videos saved up so you will see lots of rock pooling and lots of beach going scattered throughout the next couple of months even if i can't get to the beach myself uh they just require editing which uh you know what i'm just gonna, <laughs> not in the space to do that i will <laughs> try and get to editing <laughs> maybe this weekend but um uh I love getting into the editing 
zone but I tend to do it in bulk so when I get around to that they those will come up and they will be sprinkled you also probably expect lots of artwork you know nice painty things and lots of facts and lots of enthusiastic more scripted videos but I quite enjoy them just to sit down and a and a and a wee chit chat with you all so please let me know what your list is I'm really excited to find out what you all want to see I'm I'm really really excited um let's have a chat about those creatures and you know chat with other people and just get to know what they're looking for and let me know if you've seen any of my list of species um in person where you saw them how you felt when you saw them and uh let's put positive vibes out there for the rest of the year and at some point we will be back at the beaches exploring again with our wellies on and finding loads of awesome and cool creatures so that is today's video um very casual very chill i hope you're all well I hope you're staying safe and I wish you all just the very best of warmth and virtual hugs and fuzzy things, whatever comforts you, I wish you that um, because I know that this is a tough time. It's probably going to be a tough time for a, a while longer and um, but that doesn't mean we can't, you know, have some ocean cheer and celebrate from afar and... Uh, videos oh yeah videos coming up about how to stay connected to the ocean lots of plans to do stuff so we can do this you got this i believe in you let's be done final swig of tea and i'll leave you in three